colon cancer, serious business, it kills people, and it and it has a large food component, which I'll talk about in a second. But I feel by far the greater causative factor, and even in those people who may have a genetic propensity, uh, is the food we're putting down through that colon, the food that is smearing on the wall of the colon in two ways. One, when you cook meat, uh, when you roast the chicken breast, you broil the steak, you grill the burger, you inevitably, you absolutely, the chemistry dictates uh, that uh, certain compounds, uh, aromatic hydrocarbons, are going to be created, uh, heterocyclic hydrocarbons, that are carcinogenic. They, they set off cancers. And uh, if you're eating a significant amount of cooked meat, and most people do two, three times a day, uh, it's rubbing it on your stomach wall while it's in the stomach and goes through the intestine and will rub on not only the colon wall, but usually the same spot of the colon due to the anatomy of the colon. So you get the, this constant exposure to uh, carcinogenic compounds that are rubbing against the colon. That's one uh, causative factor. Plus, if you're eating a bunch of sugar uh, and oils, you're going to summon up uh, a set of microbes in the gut whose byproducts are inflammatory. You're going to summon up bacteroidetes and other microbes, clostridia, that uh, their, their products that they secrete irritate the gut wall. And you put those two together, uh, you, you irritate, you inflame the gut wall, and then you rub carcinogenic hydrocarbons on it. You can't be surprised after 20, 30 years of doing that, that a colon cancer sprouts out from the wall. It starts with polyps, which is what the doctor is looking for, but you can get a full-blown colon cancer from, from that. Well, our vegan friends, are if, if all you're eating is rice and beans and greens and fruits and vegetables, you're not putting down those hydrocarbons uh, that are going to irritate the gut wall or provoke a cancer. And the microbes you're going to summon up in your in your gut flora are going to be much more friendly. They're going to be more of the Prevotella kingdom that, that is that that suppresses cancer growth and quenches free radicals. Again, it's the food, it's the food, it's the food. But if we raise our kids on plant-based diets and they just never put meat and, and, and sugars and dairy down there, the, the odds of them sprouting out of colon cancer are tiny, 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 and we need to realign our, our guidelines to that.